Do you like it? That was the general reaction to the frigid temperatures from kids waiting for the bus this morning. Because it's cold. Michelle Jones waited with her kids at their bus stop. Well, I warmed the car up first before we get in. She also made sure to keep her kids toasty with several layers and a nice warm breakfast. We did double layers. We did, you know, um, hats, gloves, uh, boots. Make sure all those was on. Had hot chocolate before we came out. Yeah, <laughs> and some oatmeal. This mother had the same idea. I usually have somebody walk him to the bus stop, but it's so cold out this morning, we decided to come in the car. Despite the freezing temperatures, JCPS kept the start of school on schedule. For the most part, a very successful morning. Unfortunately, we have a few buses that were running a little bit late, but that's going to be as expected with the temperatures being so cold. Uh, you know, a, a little fact, we did replace 75 batteries yesterday. The district has nearly 1,000 buses, and mechanics were at each of the district's 13 compounds to make sure the buses were ready to go. The weather, you always have to look forward, so I'm meeting with my managers this morning at 9 o'clock, and we're going to discuss our plan for our startup crews tomorrow morning. It looks like the temperature is going to be about the same as it was this morning, so we need to make sure we're proactive in our planning so we can have a successful day two back to JCPS. Gianna Caserta, WLKY News.